What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about rendering styles and layout and why they're super important if you wanna have good performance creating plans from your 3D models. Plus, if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how to do different line weights for different things from a SketchUp model inside of one layout plan. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for today's example model, we're gonna use this Model Circier 193 from SD in a 3D warehouse. So if you want to download this and follow along, you definitely can. And so notice what I've done is I've created a couple different floor plans with a couple different styles associated with them. We'll talk about this other one in a minute. But basically what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to send it over to layout and we want to use it to create plans. And so we're going to reference these images over in layout. And I've sent this to layout just by doing a file send to layout. And I've set this up on just a regular title block page. But remember when you're in layout that what's happened is we've taken this SketchUp model, right? And we've brought it in from SketchUp to layout through a viewport. And so this viewport is almost like a camera looking down inside of your SketchUp model um, showing you this view. And if I was to go back into SketchUp for a second, you can see how what I've done is I've taken a section cut through the building and set this to parallel projection mode from the top down in order to create this plan view. But from there, what we can do is we can use our SketchUp model settings over here on the right hand side to change a couple things about our model. And so what you might have noticed is when you bring this in and you look at maybe some of the curved items, right? So if I look at this tub right here, the line work on this tub doesn't look very good at all, right? It's very like uh, broken up, it's not smooth, it just doesn't look very good. On the other hand, if you look at this overall, our textures have come in, making this a really good like color model um, coming in from SketchUp. So um, what we wanna do is we wanna take a look at this and we wanna change the rendering style. And I wanna show you what the different rendering styles do. So right now we are set to raster rendering style. And whenever you click on your viewport, you can go into your SketchUp model settings and look under this little drop down right here in order to see what your rendering style is. Raster is one of the three rendering styles that's in here. It's really good for displaying styles, but it's not very good for displaying line work. It's also really fast, so you're not going to get a whole lot of performance issues by doing a raster render of your model. Now, let's say that we were to select this option for vector. So when you do this, you're gonna get this little pop-up in here, unless you've clicked on this button, that says this is good for line drawings, but it can't represent complex styles. So when I click on OK, notice what that's gonna do, is that's going to smooth out all of these lines. And notice how this is kind of slow. The performance of a vector viewport is going to be slower than the performance of a raster viewport because it's coming in here and it's smoothing out all of these lines. So notice how I'm having to sit here and wait for a minute in order for this to switch over into that style. Now, if you look at this though, if you look at the line work on this tub, it's now really smooth, right? So it's doing a really good job on the line work on different curved objects, other things like that. So now these are in here and they look a lot better. But one of the things that you might have noticed here is you might have noticed that now we no longer have any textures showing up in our scene, right? The reason for that is because of vector rendering does not support those textures. Now, one thing to note about this is this is probably fine if you are using a style like this hidden line style. So if I was to go into my styles, and switch this to hidden line, that's probably gonna be okay because this is just a black and white view in here, right? And when it's a black and white view, it doesn't really matter if you have the raster stuff selected, right? Now there are some things to be aware of, like you would probably have to unhide some edges over here. Um, your table isn't quite showing up. So there are some things you'd have to clean up, but vector view is really good for displaying that line work. And it's especially good for black and white views like this one. So let's say that we were to jump back into our architectural design style though, like this. And so let's say we wanted this to display both the smooth line work and all of the textures. Well, there's a third rendering style in here called hybrid. So if you select hybrid, that's gonna combine the vector and the raster rendering styles in here so that you get both those textures in here, but also the line weights. But again, notice how you're going to take a performance hit 
when you do that. So when you do that, that's now rendering both of these out. And so if you look at this tub, the lines are pretty smooth in here. Now there are some issues in here with how smooth the actual like shading is, but overall it looks fine. Um, and it's giving you the textures in here of things like the floors as well. So if you do want to use both of those, you can do that using the hybrid rendering style. Just be aware that there is a performance consideration there as well. And so my recommendations on this are if you just need line work and you don't need textures or anything like that, vector is a good fit. Um, if you need just something that renders out fast and you don't need especially smooth lines, raster is a good fit. If you want both and you're okay with taking a performance hit, then you can jump into this hybrid rendering style. Just note that making changes and adjustments could be slower if you do that. Now, let's talk about one other benefit of the vector rendering style. So, remember that within layout, you can actually stack views on top of each other. And so what I've done is over in SketchUp, I've created a walls style in here, as well as a windows and doors style in here. And so what that's gonna allow me to do is that's gonna allow me to take both of those and stack them on top of each other. That gives us a benefit that's very helpful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by taking my scene and I'm gonna set this one to my walls. And so let's say I did have my walls in here like this in hybrid mode. Well, what I want to do, and you could create layers in order to do this, um, and I'm probably going to do that. So I'm going to add a layer, and on this layer, I'm going to call this door, window, or actually line work, door and window. And so what I want to do is I want to do an edit, copy, and I want to copy this viewport. But then I want to make sure that I've selected this line work layer, and I'm going to do an edit paste to current layer. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna take that first viewport that's in here and it's going to keep it on my default layer. So if I toggle this top layer off, I can see the viewport that's over here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna lock the layer that that viewport is on so that I can't accidentally change it. And then I wanna toggle my line work layer on. And in this case, I wanna right click on it and I want to set my scene to my windows and doors. And so when I do that, and you can kind of see this if I drag it a little bit, what that's doing is that's stacked a viewport on top of my floor plan right here of my windows and doors. I'm gonna do an undo, so this is placed right here. But notice how what that's done is that's now taken this and it's set it up where this is separate from the other layer, which is right here. And really from an organizational standpoint, probably what you wanna do is you wanna take that first viewport, so line work dash walls and you want to put your walls on that layer so usually what i do is i like to lock these so that i don't accidentally pick them up and move them around um, but i'm going to unlock this one i'm going to take this viewport and i'm going to move this to my line work walls layer and we toggle everything else off what this does and i'm going to go ahead and take this viewport and set it to my hidden line style like this is now I have a walls layer and I have a door and window layer. And so because these are in here as separate layers, I could select this line work viewport that's right here. I can come over into my style and I can set this to have a heavier line weight. So notice how when I switch this to the one point right here, my lines get heavier. And so what that does is that allows me to have heavier line work on different, uh, different geometry inside your model. So you can use this and I could bring this up to like a two point, something like that, if I wanted this to be even more highlighted. Um, but you can use this in order to create different line weights and layout from your SketchUp models. Okay, so if you wanna learn some different ways to create plans from your SketchUp models, um, you can definitely check out the SketchUp Essentials course. That's currently on sale through the end of the week. So you make sure you go check that out. You can get access to everything in there from the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture course to the live calls where you can actually show up and we can talk live and ask questions. But if you have any questions about that, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.